Hi, I'm Lucy Ellis, Senior Writer at Scriff Intelligence. I'm here at the Bio Europe Partnering Conference in Cologne, and today I'm joined by Richard Mason, the Head of Johnson Johnson Innovation for Europe. Thanks for joining me, Richard. So, can you tell me more about how the innovation business model works? So, I think you know, Johnson Johnson Innovation, um, I, what I like to say, there is no real business model because actually we have to take a very you know, open minded view to whatever opportunities we come across. What it's really about is accessing the very best uh, and what we call transformative innovation. Uh, and, and that's often to be found in the, in the external environment. And we really need to tailor make the, uh, our approach for each one of these opportunities. Uh, but we, we have you know, uh, very senior heavy hitter scientists within our innovation centres who can work with innovators, entrepreneurs, biotech companies, academics, you name it. Uh, to take their innovation and help move it forwards, whether that be uh, funding through investment, uh, whether it could be uh, collaboration, whether an R&D collaboration, whether it might involve licensing or, or other corporate activities, all of the above uh, is, is in our remit. And uh, so we pay, take a case by case basis for, all, for each piece of innovation we come across. Brilliant. But so why are groups like J&J Innovation still needed? Well, still needed. I think um, that's probably an interesting uh, uh, phrase. I think the time has never, it would never be needed more. Um, the nature of biomedical innovation is that innovation can come from anywhere. It can come from a, a, a laboratory in Palo Alto. It can come from a biotechnology in Cologne, where we are now. It can come from a, a garage in Paris. It doesn't matter. It can come all over the place in a highly unpredictable manner. And it doesn't matter how large your company is. How, how big you grow it, you can only ever hope to have a tiny fraction of that innovation inside the boundaries of your own firm. And once one accepts that and realises that, it's hugely liberating. Because the question becomes not how do we just get bigger and bigger and bigger, it's actually how do we organise ourselves so we can access that innovation and work with innovators wherever they are in the world. And that's what Johnson Johnson Innovation is all about. Great innovation can come from anywhere. We are organised so that we can identify it and work with the innovators. That's great. So what's brought you to Bio Europe this year and what kind of partnering are you meetings are you doing and what you're interested in? Well Bio Europe, you know, is, is on our fixture along with Bio Europe Spring. Um, it, it, Johnson & Johnson, we're the world's largest and most diversified healthcare company and we have 43,000 employees in, in Europe, in EMEA. Uh, and, you know, we've been here for many, many, many years. Many of our largest uh, products have come from Europe. So it's only natural that at the major partnering conferences we're present. Uh, we've got a large team of people here uh, and we're literally doing hundreds of meetings over, the, over this current three days, uh, meeting uh, young entrepreneurs, companies and so on uh, to find the next great innovation. Brilliant. Sounds like it's going to be a busy few days for you. My team usually come back fairly tired after this event. I bet they do. Yeah. So what are you looking forward to most? What are you most excited about within the company right now? And what's the big key milestone? Well, there are a lot of things going on in j, &J. It's a very exciting time to be in the company. Uh, so what, what would I single out? I, I single out um, the work we're doing uh, with uh, very uh, young companies. Uh, it's, it's particularly important right now. Uh, and you've probably heard of our, I mentioned our J-Labs initiative, which is state-of-the-art incubators. We now have six uh, in North America. Uh, there are really no strings attached models providing uh, young companies who have, may have, may have small amount of resources, access to state-of-the-art facilities. And you know, we've now just opened up J-Links, an incubator in Biersa in Europe, slightly different model to the, uh, to the US. The Biersa incubator also brings access uh, to capital and is based on our BSA campus, a very, very uh, large and state-of-the-art R&D uh, campus where startup companies can access uh, Johnson & Johnson capabilities. And we're very excited about the, uh, the getting a huge interest in that from young companies coming in. Uh, so that's a really important uh, next step for us uh, in, in this region. Great, it sounds like you've got a lot coming up and I hope you have a good time at Bio Europe and get all your meetings finished up. And thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Lucy, that's great. Thank you very much, thank you.